Hey, it's Sid. I go by the blind artisan because I am a visually impaired artist on a mission to become the best artist I can possibly be, and I'm so excited that you're here. In this video, I not only want to inspire you to get creative, and not only will we be creating some art, but I really want to talk about this topic of um, embracing slowness and how it can benefit your art and benefit your mental health and your overall happiness as a person and as an artist. So if that all sounds good to you, then grab your sketchbook and maybe a cozy drink and I hope you enjoy this little cozy vlog. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. If you watched some of my previous vlogs, you would know that we've been working on this painting for about four videos now, which in some ways sounds crazy, but in the greater scheme of things, I don't think it's that long. I feel like taking my time on this piece has not only allowed me to catch mistakes sooner, but I've been able to add to this piece spontaneously and intuitively, and I feel like I've been making better creative decisions in my opinion and coming out with something that I really, really like and that I'm really, really proud of. Wait for our home to show on the horizon soon we'll be there. When I first started this piece, I knew that I wanted to do something special with the border. I knew that I wanted it to be a little bit different and I love how it came out. When I did the border, I kind of noticed that there were some things inside the actual piece that I wanted to adjust, so I started adding some line work into the trees to bring those out. It's crazy when you work on different portions of the piece that you realize, oh wait, now that I did this, now this needs to pop a little bit more. But I think it was a beautiful journey because it reminded me that I indeed was not done with this piece like I thought I was. And I don't know. I feel like every time I get close to the end of a painting, I get really, really attached and just working on it feels like a little addiction, a little safe haven in my day. <laughs> One of my ways of slowing down has to do with just exploring my creativity but in a way that I do not normally use, which is like painting, digital painting, making t-shirts, etc. So today's adventure included finding sticks in my backyard to put in my snake's new enclosure. And during this experience, I started having flashbacks of when I was a kid and I would explore nature and hop on rocks in the creek and just embrace the world around me. And it made me question why I don't do this as much anymore, why I'm such a little hermit. <laughs> but either way, it was a healing experience. I felt like I was healing my inner child and I had an amazing time. After baking and cleaning the wood just to make sure that they're nice and sanitized for sardonyx, I started laying the wood pieces on the background. My idea is to create this custom naturalistic background so that sardonyx can climb on the backdrop because I noticed that he likes to do that in his current enclosure. During this process of working on the background, I couldn't help but feel really excited to be trying something new. I knew nothing about like foam and how to even build this. I was following a YouTube tutorial, which was great because I feel like trying new things and embracing your creativity and following that is a uh, an act of slowness because when you're trying something new, all the pressure is just alleviated. Piece piece. What if those slow, mundane moments are a form of productivity? Today I decided to start my day off with um, watering my plants and cleaning up my space and during this I started reflecting and I realized that even though I could be drawing and working on certain things, I feel like, you know, 
cleaning my space and making sure my plants are happy and alive is a form of productivity because my plants inspire me in my space. They give me this creative drive and I love them so much. And then like having my space be clean and cleaning the paint off the floor and wiping down my little areas also inspires me because just like many people, my mind isn't clear unless my space is clean. So starting my day off with this was, was really great and honestly really productive in my opinion. And when I sat down at my desk today, I just felt like I was ready to take on the day. So I want you to ask yourself, what do you find productive and why? And you can leave it in the comments below or you can just ask yourself and answer it yourself and marinate on it. But I want you to keep this question in mind because I think it can tell a lot about yourself and your mindset, which I think is important to uh, dive into. Just what is essential for life that is thriving? Go deep, mute out the chatter. Today I decided to work on this illustration. I finally confirmed in my head that I want to do some sort of autumn fall drop. And I have to say that when I sat down with this piece, there was a little bit of resistance. Um, it's been a little bit difficult for me to get back into creating personal pieces digitally. If you don't know, I actually stopped creating digital art uh, for myself for personal reasons. Well, it's really just because I was doing a whole bunch of, um, of client work that was digital and I felt like I wasn't relaxing when I was creating art this way but I recently gravitated back to it and I feel like I am ready to maybe add some new things into my shop because I feel like that's something I've been neglecting lately. But something that was really important for me to get to this point was to take a break and to embrace other creative outlets. I feel like had I not done that, I wouldn't be in the mental state to be able to take on <laughs> creating digital art again and having that passion for it because even though there was some resistance when I sat down and, and started working on this piece, I started to really, really enjoy it and um, I started having a lot of fun with this process. So this is all to say that taking a break can help you come back as the version that you are striving for. Taking a break can sometimes be the most productive thing for you to do, for you to come back bigger and, and better. So yeah, this is my reminder, my public service announcement to all of you to be kind to yourself and to take a break if you need to and to listen to your body and to know that rest can be productive. After working on the autumn piece for a little while, I decided to take a break and work on the background. I carved back some of the foam and I started adding silicone on top of it. With silicone, just uh, make sure you have the door open and a fan blowing. Just all the ventilation you can get because this stuff does have a smell and you want to be able to be safe and yeah. But I went over it with some sphagnum moss and some soil to give it the naturalistic vibe and this was just a lot of fun. It was a really good break from my drawing and painting and I got, feel like I got to use a different side of my brain and got to just be creative and like a little kid again. But it's the life that we chose. So I got as much as I could get done right now. I ran out of silicone. I did not order enough for the size that I'm working with. But man, it's just, this has all been a learning curve and just uh, figuring out how to do everything has been crazy and interesting and um, yeah, but it's been a lot of fun. I've been having a really good time. When I 
showed my partner this piece, I asked him what he would add to it or if there's anything he would change. And something that he mentioned was adding depth to the foam bubbles. So I decided to create a really thin wash of purple paint and just try to add some dimension. And I feel like doing this actually elevated the piece a lot and I'm so happy I asked for his opinion but I'm also happy that I kept this piece sort of hanging for a while so that when I was ready I could work on it again and not really rush too much and just enjoy the moment because I feel like this painting session was really 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 dreamy especially because with these light washes they made the biggest impact. I also decided to add some dimension and some darker values to the trees and I feel like everything just popped out just a little bit more and it makes me really happy especially for a last minute fix we are back at the desk again woohoo and we are gonna be working some more on this piece it's weird because while I feel like I had to push myself a little bit to sit down and work on this piece whenever I got into the rhythm of it I was beginning to enjoy it and I I like that of course we love enjoying things <laughs> But I decided to tackle the part that I was putting off the most, which were was which was the pattern, uh, because it's just so tedious. All these little rhombuses, these little diamonds that I have to color in. But I feel like they did something for the piece, of course, because it's just finishing the pattern. And even though it was tedious, I'm happy I did it, of course. <laughs> it's gonna make you Now that all the flat colors and gradients are in, I feel really, really excited because I get to work on the line work and I don't know, line work is just so fun for me. I love it. I think it's just because you get to watch everything sort of come together and get cleaned up because usually my underpaintings are really, really messy and then the line work just brings it all together and that just makes me really, really happy. So I feel like this drawing session was just all around super therapeutic for me, especially once I got those diamonds out the way in the beginning. So I would love to know what is your favorite part of your creative process and let me know in the comments because I just like to know because sometimes it's color for some people sometimes it's the first sketch because you get to be all free so yeah I feel like I can't make a video on embracing slowness without talking about social media because I feel like there is this of uh, this pressure to be super consistent on there and to show up as much as you possibly can and at least that's how it's felt for me but recently i've been keeping uh social media at arm's length like literally all my apps have about a 30 minute limit each day and i try to stick to that just because i need to protect my mental health and my relationship with my art i think seeing really great art all the time 
can be overstimulating and can sometimes lead to being discouraging. And so I started feeling like I need to just prioritize my relationship with my art and my mental health. And so I've decided that social media comes second and my happiness and my art practice and um, my creative mindset and my creative flow comes first. And if I have something to share on social media, I will. But, you know, it's not the biggest priority anymore. And yeah, it's scary because, of course, I want people to see my work. But I feel like that's why I have YouTube. And maybe you count YouTube as social media. But I just count these little videos as little diaries I get to uh, look back on one day and feel proud that I, I did something and I created art and I get to, to share it with my family and they get to see what I'm working on and all these things. And I think that makes the relationship a little bit healthier than it does with like Instagram where I'll barely look back at the things that I post and so what's the point of posting into the void but um yeah Th that's just my opinion on it I just think uh, our mental health matters more than anything and our happiness matters more than anything and our creative practice matters more than anything because we want to do this for a reason and why implement something that makes it not fun anymore you know but that's just my opinion. Something that I've been reminding myself these days is that I'm worthy of slowness, that I'm worthy of peaceful moments and the tea the way that I just like it, and that these moments are so important. I think it's really important to nurture ourselves and to do the things that we've always wanted to do and to entertain our silly ideas or our cozy ideas. Like if you're thinking, oh, maybe I want to eat lunch outside today or work outside today, go do that thing, you know? I think it's important to sort of make our little moments in our lives a little bit more special and enhance them in their own little ways. And for me, that was just making breakfast a little bit more special by scrambling up some eggs, making some tea, and going outside and enjoying the nice cool weather. It is feeling nice and cool in the mornings here in Georgia and um, I, I'm loving it so much. And so just taking a moment to embrace the weather, the changing seasons, and to wear my hoodie which is in my shop by the way and um, it, it's been it's been a nice moment Something that I've noticed is that I am a really detail-oriented person, so doing detail and adding detail into my piece really takes a lot of time. But something that I've been working on is not rushing it and just spreading it out into little bites so that I can get it done but still enjoy the process.
that just came in the mail. Woo! We get to finish this background today. I'm so excited. Working on this as a side project has been such a refreshing thing. I found myself feeling really excited every time I come to work on this little uh, background. And I think it's because there's like no pressure really involved. I mean, at the end of the day, Sardonyx is gonna really love just climbing on it and no matter how it looks. And I think that takes off a lot of, um, a lot of pressure. And this is the last time I really show this background in this video, but I'll keep you updated on like how the whole terrarium comes together throughout the next few videos if that's something that you're interested in. But if you are a creative person and you find yourself having these creative spurts, definitely entertain them and do them because I feel like it's always so much fun and I feel like our creative energy needs to be nurtured, especially for play. I think it does a lot for our mental health and a lot for our productivity in other areas. So this is your sign to get a fun side project. I think you'll love it. Watching the paper slowly unfold Bracing for news that I can't bear to hold While I'm singing this song to myself I sing this softly since I worked on this piece quite a bit today, I didn't really have too much left to do, but I did want to add a little bit into the background just to sort of bring the piece together because it was looking kind of plain for me. So in typical Sid fashion, I decided to add just some purple line work in the back and I feel like it really brought the piece together. It's so funny how the last final details always seem to have this sort of impact, even if you've been working on a piece for hours. I really adore the way that I've been approaching working on this piece. Just from working on it in little bites, just so I don't get overwhelmed, has been really, really helpful and sort of conditioning myself that I can take my time and I can take all the time that I need. And I feel like it contributed to the piece coming out just the way that I like it, which is awesome. And also it contributed to me embracing the moment of digitally painting. I've had a hard time recently, um, especially because I haven't been digitally painting, but I've had a hard time in the past um, romanticizing the digital painting process. And for me, I've noticed that if I can make my creative process an experience, it's always all the more fun. And so that's something that I think I'm gonna try to do more of, making myself a cozy drink, putting on my string lights and putting on a cozy vlog and enjoying the moment. printed out the first we meaning I but you're with me so we we did this uh, we just printed out our very first print of this piece and um, I love it so much I love how it came out I think that there are a few things I may want to adjust now seeing it printed for instance I think I want the background to be darker to provide a little bit more contrast here um, but overall, it's, I think it looks awesome. Um, and I'm always just amazed at how my printer just prints things. It does such a good job. <laughs> so I'm very, very happy. I actually think I am going to put this in a frame and hang it up for the fall season because yay. And then I also want to work a little bit on my sticker sheet design and start thinking about a product design that I also maybe would like to launch as well. Because um, I was thinking about maybe doing like those glass beer cans and doing like a, a design on that. And I feel like that would be really, really fun because I drink out of those a lot. And I think they'll be perfect for like iced pumpkin spice lattes or just iced drinks or water or whatever you like to drink. So yeah, I, I want to um, flesh out a design for that. Hopefully I'll have time for that today, but we'll see. But I'm so happy and yeah. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind?
sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty after seeing my pumpkin print all printed, I was inspired to go ahead and start coloring in the sticker sheet that I started in the last video. And I'm using this pumpkin that is from my mom's garden as a inspiration because you know what? Pumpkins come in all different colors and sizes and I think that's so cool. So I want to highlight this pumpkin because I think it's such a cool looking pumpkin. I just think it's so unique and I don't see so many stickers of this kind of pumpkin so I thought this would be really really fun to paint and yeah but it was really nice already having a sketch in mind because it was just easy to just go ahead and get started with color everything felt really intuitive and I really like having pre sketched out things for this reason because I don't really have to think about concept or anything I just get to go on autopilot and color things in and coloring this in felt like coloring in a coloring book which is always so much fun and so satisfying but yeah i hope you enjoy this painting process yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand yeah we only get one life i want to make it I just finished some flat colors for the sticker sheets and i am so happy i feel like they're coming very coming along very well very fall very nice and i i'm excited so i think really the next step with this sticker sheet is to line it and come up with a captivating background i like the green color that i have but maybe adding texture or something else to it that will make it look nice and then maybe each sticker can have its own individual background which will be really good too but overall i'm really happy with the progress that i made today i feel really accomplished and in the fall spirit and also i use this pumpkin as a reference for my pumpkin in this one which is so cool because my mom grew this in her garden and it kind of inspired me to maybe make one that's just like all kinds of different pumpkins but I know that since I am planning on outsourcing these sticker sheets because uh, crickets are is another investment and another learning curve I feel like outsourcing might be more affordable and I can price them to be more affordable for everyone um, but I kind of want to make another sticker sheet where it's just different kinds of pumpkins but I don't know if I'm in over my head or not so I might stick with one this time around but um and then just see how it does because I've never really done a sticker sheet officially before I did one that was like a tiger sticker sheet but it was a long time ago and so this is my first official like sticker sheet that I'm outsourcing so maybe I should stick it out with one maybe I'll try another one but we'll see how it goes in this video, we discuss the importance of embracing those slow mundane moments while also creating some art along the way. And I hope that this video inspired you to embrace peaceful moments and to create your own art and to chase your own creative dreams. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Wait for better days to